Hello Seattle, this is Ian Affleck Ash, candidate for position number 9 on the Seattle City Council with today's daily video. Today I'd like to talk about transportation and toxic self-reliance. Please know that the transportation segment might be very dense to listen to due to the pedantic but important nature of it. On transportation, I view transportation, the freedom of movement, to and from points of interest as a human right. As always, I believe that the main duty of government is to enable and protect human rights. Our government does so by raising the taxes to build and maintain sidewalks, roads, public transportation, and signs. Let's start off. Our sidewalks suck. They're not present in many communities where they should be, where they, their presence can protect pedestrians and would be much appreciated. In communities where they are present, they're often in poor repair and their maintenance takes a ludicrous time to be addressed. We must, as a city, champion better construction and maintenance of our sidewalks to enable proper foot traffic. We should have a clear system in place to help citizens report and track the repair of damaged sidewalks in their neighborhoods. According to Seattle Municipal Code, Title 15.72, Property owners are required to keep the sidewalk adjacent to their property fit and safe for the purposes of public travel. As such, property owners must repair cracks and other damage to the sidewalk, as well as ensure that snow and ice not pose a hazard to pedestrians. If the sidewalk is determined to be unfit or unsafe, the Municipal Code requires the Seattle Department of Transportation to direct the abutting property owner to fix their sidewalk. As we can see from this, it is the duty of the property owner to maintain and improve upon their state of their sidewalks. I encourage you to report damaged sidewalks and help the property owner obtain a permit for street use sidewalk repair, that's type 55, by directing them to the street use permit counter located at the Seattle Municipal Tower on the 23rd floor. This is at 700 Fifth Avenue and their phone number is 206-684-5253. The owner can also apply online for a Type 55 street use sidewalk repair permit at http colon forward slash forward slash www.seattle.gov forward slash transportation forward slash st use one word underscore permits underscore online dot htm. Secondly, our roads suck. We have numerous potholes, cracks, and it seems like our road repairs take forever. And when they're done repairing them, they don't even bother to replace pedestrian crossing stripes. We must, as a city, champion better maintenance and update of our streets, poorly aligned though they may be. To report poor conditions of street surface, please call 206-684-7623 that is the pothole and street repair site uh, and group. To report potholes, you can also fill out the online form located at http colon forward slash forward slash www.seattle.gov forward slash transportation forward slash all one word here pothole report dot htm. Regarding missing pedestrian crossing signs or markings, please call 206-684-7583 or you can email the Seattle Pedestrian Program, they're the ones in charge of that, at walkandbike at seattle.gov. That's their email address. Our public transportation must be stronger than it is now. It kind of sucks. If we are to properly grow as a city alongside our growing population, I urge you to approve greater levies and fees to strengthen our public transportation options and also to ride the buses and link light rail as often as possible. This reduces congestion. When riding the bus or link light rail, please queue alongside the vehicle to facilitate the unloading of other passengers and then make your way to an appropriate place in the vehicle, being mindful and respectful to others. We must conduct ourselves to a higher standard than in the past to ensure our bus rides are quick and peaceful. If you notice a sign or street marking missing, you can call the SDOT traffic shop 
at 206-386-1206, providing as precise as possible information on the location of the sign. You can also fill out an online maintenance request at http colon forward slash forward slash www.seattle.gov forward slash transportation forward slash pothole report dot htm. I think I have uh, actually wrote that down twice. My bad. To request a traffic signal for an intersection or a crosswalk, please call 206-684-5118 or send an email to traffic.signals at seattle.gov. Sorry about the uh, doubling up there. It happens. On toxic self-reliance, we have been conditioned as a people to think of pulling oneself up by one's bootstraps to be noble and something that all should strive for. We have been conditioned to go against our human nature and not assist those in need of aid. Much of this is in distrust of others, which is terrible for a strong community with good values. I encourage all of you in both your private and personal lives, private and public lives, to aid where aid is needed and help your neighbor. If you're tired of seeing them struggle, help them overcome. We are all in this life on the same team. It's never supposed to be us versus them. It is all of us together. We can achieve much greater things by understanding that we all have more similarities than we do differences. To properly resist those that seek to separate and control us, we must band together, resist those that tell us to hurt, not to help. Remember kindness in your daily life. It does so much more good than hate. As always, links to my Twitter and email are in the description below. You can also find the links to the services and sites I mentioned in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a better day. The previous video message was sponsored by Ian Affleck Ash for City Council. Thank you.